Hey, good morning. It's Clay, Dale, and Liz. Good morning. It's Granger. How are you guys doing? So where are you this morning? Uh, I am somewhere just north of Bakersfield, California. Oh. Oh, yeah. I saw. Uh, are you playing at Buck's Place? Yeah, we played there last night. It was awesome. Really, really cool. Cool experience. Um, all right. Well, hey, you're coming to our Toyota Taste the Country June 10th. Excited to uh, excited to have you uh, in the area. Um, I, now I'm going to be honest with you. I'm 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 clueless on this. Have you ever been to Buffalo before? Yes. Yeah, we have. We played uh, we played there a few months ago, and um, had a, just an absolute blast. The crowd was was insane, and uh, so can't wait to come back and, and see Buffalo again. We've we've been we've been dying to get back there ever since we played it. We're talking to Granger Smith. He's part of the Toyota Taste of Country on June 10th. Uh, if you look at the news lately, you've been uh, kind of represented as or known as one of the big artists to watch in 2016, but you've been at it for a while. Why would you say that all of a sudden this rise in popularity? Uh, you, you know, we, we have. We've been at it for a long time, and we've kind of had this grassroots, grassroots thing going on, and, and uh and just a a really a really cool fan base across the country, but things things didn't really get uh, super passionate until we we signed this record deal and put out a uh, backward song or single, and we're able to kind of raise the the ceiling through major radio play, and that's that's been the catalyst on really helping us out and and really really kind of breaking through to a, a new audience, and so it's it's been a fun six months or so for me. Hey Granger, you know a pretty cool experience for any American is to, is to visit the White House. Uh, you not only visited the White House, but you played there three times. What's that like? Oh, it was an amazing feeling. It really was. It's such a um, a, a historic place, and and something that's you know when I would go there, they would remind me that it's not it's not just uh, the house where the the president lives or works. It's it is a, a house owned by the people. It's it's our house. You know, it represents us and our history and, and our tradition. And it's it's open to the public every day to, to go and, and tour. And, uh, and so it's just, I'm a history buff, kind of. It's, it's just a, a really cool place to go and, and be a part of. And to play music is, is even better. Did you do anything in there that maybe you shouldn't have? Did you maybe take something as a little memento? Uh, I... <laughs> It's funny. You're not. You're not the first person to ask that question. That's great. It's really funny. But uh, I. I took a pen. I have a pen. Off the president's desk. Stop it. <laughs> not. Not from the president's desk. I should have done that. But and what's the security? Somebody else's desk. What's the security like? Uh, did you have to go through a pat down or anything? We did. We had to kind of do a a a month before we went big security check and and had to give them our our social security numbers and and uh they they did a thorough background check and then once we got there we went through a couple of checks with our gear all our musical gear they'd go through it all and and uh those guys don't mess around the guys with with the uh the big old guns standing there at the <laughs> at the checkpoint so they don't mess around you don't want to mess around with them did you have to give earl dibbles his social security number <laughs> uh this I mean, this was a uh, pre-earl pre-earl dibbles so that that might have been a different story if he went. Which would you rather be well known for? Because obviously that's taken off huge. Uh, how do you? What what would you rather be known for? Being famous Earl Dibbles or Granger Smith? <laughs> oh, I'd like both. Hey, I'd that's like a good both. answer. All right. What what was yeah. the reason that you started the Earl Dibbles account? Uh, a couple of, about three years ago, we were making a whole lot of videos. There's actually a lot more characters than just Earl. And uh, we were making a lot of alter egos and different characters, and, and we've made a lot of videos over the years to kind of help people connect the dots back to the music and, and back to Granger and, and have something to share with their friends. And, um, and Earl Dibbles went viral after the, their very first video, so I wrote a song called Country Boy Song and, and put that out, and, um, and then we added it to our show. It's the encore, the last song of, of every show, and... Uh, we just have a blast with it, all of the band and me and, and the crew. We, we love it. Hey, Earl once nominated George Strait for president. Does uh, Granger Smith have a choice? <laughs> uh, Granger nominates Earl for president. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we will see you uh, just a couple months before the election. June uh, 10th down at Coca-Cola Field. Granger, have a safe trip up to Buffalo.
Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it.